Hey, what's up everybody? So, in this video, I actually plan on doing something a little bit different once again. I want to delve into the real life. Kind of make it a theme where every Saturday morning I do this real life story sharing. But, for this video, I actually want to touch on something, well, deep. Kind of want to have a heart to heart. And bear with me here, because it's it's still difficult to talk about it, even to this day, after all of these years. Let's go through it. I remember coming up into high school, and my folks gave me the idea of jumping into extracurricular activities such as sports. And I really, I really thought the idea would be pretty damn cool, jumping into American football, and you know, it was, uh, it was kind of an, in tandem where my folks recommended it, and I was like, yeah, let's do it. I remember jumping in, not really knowing much about the game, legitimately being an ultimate noob, jumping into a football team, not knowing anything about the game, not even knowing what a first down, second down, third down, or fourth down was at the time. I was like a baby. <laughs> but I knew in every single competitive scenario, I wanted to bring my all, all my focus, my drive, and my effort into giving it my best shot. And funnily enough, this was a really prestigious school when it came to football up in New England. So I, I felt lucky when I actually was ended up being part of the part of the team. And because of my efforts, because of my relentlessness, I, I was respected and and people people really wanted to to give me praise because despite my stature, despite me being just five eleven, I was a pretty damn good nose guard and linebacker. And it was nice. It was a brotherhood I never really experienced before. Thought I had good friends. Was having time my time of my life, and I gained some sort of ego that I feel like I was the peak of my strutty, pretentious, piece of shit attitude. <laughs> and I gained a high level of popularity I never thought I was capable of. Even schools outside of my high school knew about me. It was crazy. I felt like I was on top of the world. I had friends from almost every single clique. Because despite me being a relatively nerdy, like, leaned guy, especially when it came to my interests towards, um, nerdy related things I was a jock and I was an academic and I legitimately contributed to so many different click stereotypes that I could join into any group in terms of conversation and jump in seamlessly it seemed it really seemed like I had it all I remember as I continued to play football into the next year I saw my grades slipping and I remember my folks informing me of such a thing, saying that, listen, J-Man, it's, it's not looking good. Your grades are so important, and it's, it's going to define your future. You, you, need to, you need to think about it. And I did. I listened to them. It, it didn't seem like it was the right route to keep going down the football path, considering I never had any aspirations to make it to the NFL, nor did I want to long-term damage my body into me being elderly and still can't move my knee because I blew out my ACL like eight times. <laughs> and, like, I decided to make the decision. I remember going down to my coach, all professional, and trying to keep myself keep myself, you know, uh, respectful and kind and as professional as I possibly could be. I brought him the news saying that I I think I'll be leaving. 
told my team as well. Told them that I, I need to make this choice for my future. I need to make sure I'll be in a good spot. I thought I'd be met with some sort of understanding. But I wasn't. From both fronts, I was met with hate. And seeming vitriol. It was like disgust. I was bullied into no end. I remember a football player taking my multi-month-long physics project and breaking it. I remember being messaged insults, walked by and spit on and shoved into lockers and told my worth wasn't there anymore now that I stopped playing football. It was so bad. And as the young kid that I was, I, I couldn't understand it. I didn't know what was going on. And I did what pretty much any kid I feel like would have done. And I hid under the stairs. Hoping that my family would be able to come. And pick me up from this nightmare. Gosh, that lasted for so long. Every day. It was tough. I remember being in homeroom with my my pre my, my my coach being the homeroom teacher and um he would pass back he passed back the pre SAT around and he would kindly say every single person's name and I remember I never remember when he got to me he slammed that pre SAT down on my desk stared straight into my eyes and said nothing. It was... It was crazy. I couldn't believe such a thing was happening. I couldn't believe even the adult figures in my life that I thought I could trust were bringing me into this darkness I never knew I'd know. I didn't know how long this would last. I didn't know whether or not it was worth continuing. And being in that darkness brought a lot of negative thoughts in my head. Brought that more of a toxic aspect, more of like a jaded more erratic, more irrational perspective into my brain. My mental was shot. It, my grades were going down. Everything was falling apart. It was crazy, looking back at it now. How ridiculous it was. As time went on, it would get better inch by inch. But I'll be completely honest with you, I never got over that until after college. And I'm talking about way after college. That traumatized me to the core. Holy crap, it did. And I just want to take this time 
to now jump back to reality. Put a little, uh, little bookmark and pause to me um, remembering all that. <sighs> and uh, speak heart to heart with you now. I feel like my past, despite it being so burdensome, I've made quite a bit of mistakes. I feel like there were some toxic things, negative things that I've done that didn't exactly exemplify what I wanted to be and the man that I wanted to become. I, I do want to take this time to apologize for all of that, whatever it may have been to whoever it may have been directed to. I want to make sure that whoever's watching this video knows that whatever I've done that was negative, that I am deeply sorry. And that I will do everything in my power to not ever be anything like those bullies that brought me down into the deep dark. It's crazy looking back on it and seeing where I am now and how I'm in a better spot, how things are going a lot better. And honestly, I want to continue pushing towards being somebody where or who people could lean on whenever they experience that deep darkness that I feel like a lot of us are relatively familiar with. I want to help people, man. I don't want people to experience what I did. And I hope through my videos, people can legitimately find maybe inspiration, some sort of insight, maybe a perspective change, anything that could help them in their journey. Just so, well, life would be a little bit easier. I'm going to do everything I can to push for that. To make sure that message is clear in almost everything that I do. Well, not almost everything that I do. I hope I'll be able to make it happen. I'm confident that I can, but I'm going to do everything I can to manifest it to reality. Whew, that was tough. But I think I'll end it there for everybody watching. And I hope no matter what, I hope everybody knows that no matter what, that no matter how bad it gets, that it's always worth it to keep going. There is always that light on the other side, whether it seems like it's impossible to see it or not. But anyways, guys, ah, thank you so much for taking the time. And I think I'll be continuing doing a lot of these real life stories every Saturday morning as much as I possibly can. I appreciate every single one of you for coming in and showing your support and constantly, you know, coming in and taking the time to even watch the video, whatever it may be. I'm going to be working on my craft, making sure I, I stick to a proper positive foundation and continuously pushing myself and putting myself in a spot where I learn the most. And so I could even pass that information down to you if you ever want to start a YouTube, if you want to do stuff like this. I'm learning. I'm learning. But once again, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. 
and well, I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a good day, everybody.